Good morning, praying parents. We praise the Lord this morning. It's the 1st of March, 2021. The year is rapidly running forward. Before we know it, it's towards the end of the year. But we give glory to Almighty God for what he's been doing from the beginning of this year, even until now, in the lives of your family, in the lives of your children, in your own life, I thank the Lord that we have nothing to be afraid of. You have nothing to be afraid of because God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne. He is God all by himself. And he is not moved by what the devil is doing. He is not afraid of what the devil is doing. He is not afraid. He is not panicking. He is not anxious of what the devil may do. God knows the devil is already weak. He is already underneath your feet. He is already defeated. He is a defeated foe. I want you to know that with a confidence that the enemy is a defeated foe, a liar and the father of all lies, a deceiver, a deceiver, fake. He makes everything so big, exaggerator, a liar. Don't trust, don't believe him. He's very subtle in his ways. He's not going to come to you with two horns and, uh, and red eyes. He's a snake. He sneaks in. I pray this morning that the enemy will not sneak into your home. That your children will not be deceived by the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. That none of us will be deceived by the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. One of his last weapons, one of his last arsenals is deception. Making the truth to be a lie and a lie like the truth. And the Bible even says that if it were possible, even the very elect will be deceived. Children of God, be very aware of the deception of this liar. This liar sits in offices. This liar sits amongst us daily. This liar is a machinator of evil. This liar recruits cohorts. They have a confederacy of Satan. Today we'll pull the confederacy of Satan down. And I decree over you, your children, your family, that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against you or your children shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against you in your job shall prosper. All the liars the Lord would disgrace them and put them to shame in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. These are the very last of the last days. I know that Jesus is just right around the corner. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Or are we just living our lives as if nothing is going to happen? They've said it for 2,000 years now. Nothing is just going to happen. Please let's get ourselves ready. Let's get our children ready. Prepare them for eternity. Speak to them about the end times. Explain what is going on to them. They don't understand. They just think it's coronavirus. But these are the signs of the end. Explain it to them. Let them understand what the Bible said in the last days, that men shall become lovers of themselves. And this is what we are seeing. They are greedy. They have become lovers of themselves. Father, we give you praise this morning. And so tell them not to be in despair. We must not despair. Hallelujah. We must be like Solomon that God blessed. God blessed Solomon because of his father David, because of the integrity of his father David's heart. David was a faithful man to God. He, was, he, he wasn't perfect, but he was a faithful man. He had a heart of integrity. Hallelujah. The Bible spoke to, to Solomon. God spoke to Solomon. In 1 Kings chapter 9, the Lord appeared to him a second time after he had appeared to him at Gibeon. And the Lord said to Solomon, I've heard your prayer and your supplication that you've made before me. I have consecrated this house. You see, Solomon built a house for the Lord. So the Lord consecrated the house that Solomon built for him in the Lord's name. 
And the Lord says that he will be there forever and his eyes and his heart will be there perpetually. So God accepted Solomon's gift, Solomon's offering, because Solomon built a house for the Lord. I pray that your children will build a house for the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. They will build a temple for the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. And the Lord says that his name and his presence will be there forever. Whatever you do, whatever your children do, I pray that the name of the Lord and his presence will be there forever. And the Lord says that my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And then he gave a condition to Solomon, which we all have. We all have conditions. We must serve the Lord our God with all our heart. Your children will serve the Lord their God with all their heart. And the Lord spoke to Solomon and says, as for you, if you walk, if you live your life before me, as David, your father, walked in integrity of heart and in uprightness, acting in accordance with everything that I have commanded you. And if you keep my statutes and my precepts, then I will establish the throne of your kingdom over Israel forever. Hallelujah. If you are in ministry, you've got to walk with integrity of heart and in uprightness. You can't do anything just the way you like. You can't just, we can't just, we cannot just do that. I pray today in Jesus' name, as parents, who are in charge and stewards of our children, that we will walk with integrity of heart and uprightness in Jesus' mighty name. Because those children are the temple of the Holy Spirit. They are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord said to David, if he will stand by the word of God, keeping the statutes and the precepts and the commandments, God said he will establish the throne of the kingdom forever. Those ministries will last forever if we walk in uprightness of heart. In Jesus name. But God gave him another condition that if you or your sons turn away from following me. I pray today that your children will not turn away from following the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God said if Solomon does not keep the commandments and the statutes that were set before him. If he goes to serve other gods and worship them. God says I will cut off Israel from the land which I have given them. And I will cast out of my sight the house which I have consecrated for my name and my presence. God can reject our gifts if we think we're doing him a favor. And just because Solomon has, has given God something, has done something for the Lord, does not guarantee him eternity. It does not guarantee him eternity. God says, I will cut you off if you do not keep my commandments. I pray today, God is saying, keep my commandments and my statutes, which I have set before you. Do not go and serve other gods and worship them. Today we worship human beings. We worship materialism. We worship friends in high places. We worship so many things that we're not aware that they're idols in our lives. We are addicted to things. And God is saying, we must not serve other gods and worship them. It's not until we go into the coven of a witch that we begin to worship Satan. No. It's when we turn our eyes away from the commandments of God and his statutes. I pray today that none of us will be cut off. None of your children will be cut off from the land which the Lord has given unto us. We will not be cast out of God's sight because God says that I will, I will cut you off from Israel, from the land which I have given you. And then I will cast out of my sight, I will cast you out of my sight, the house which I have consecrated for my name and my presence. And then he says that Israel will become a proverb, a saying, a byword, an object of ridicule among all the peoples. That's why some people are ridiculed because they've fallen away from walking under the commandments of God. And the Lord says that the house that Solomon had built for him will become a heap of ruins. Everyone who passes by will be appalled and snare and say, why has the Lord done such a thing to this land and to this house? May our children not bring disrepute. To the name of the Lord. May we not bring the name of the Lord to disrepute, to disrespect, to people sneering, to people talking about Christians like, like we don't have a God because of our lifestyles, because of our ways, because we worship idols, because we, we like friends in high places, because we worship people and things. Because our eyes have been turned away from the God of eternity. And we are worshipping other gods without realizing it. This morning, I am asking you praying parents, 
Will we repent? Including myself. I'm not exempt from anything God is saying. And I want us to say this morning, Lord, I repent. If I've been worshipping some kind of idol or the other, do not cast your name away from me. Do not take away your presence from me and my family. Do not cast us out, do not cast us out of your sight. In the name of Jesus. Your children will not be cut off. Your household will not be cut off. You will not be cut off. You will not be cut off from this judgment that is coming upon the earth. You will not be cut off in Jesus' name. There is a judgment that is coming upon the face of this earth. God is not asleep. God is not slumbering. God is watching. He can see. The world has turned away from following the Lord. The Lord has turned away from the commandments. The world has turned away. Sorry, the world has turned away from God's commandments and his statutes. I pray that when the judgment comes, as for you and your house, you will be found serving the Lord. Your children will be found serving the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your children will be found serving the Lord. You will be found serving the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of judgment will not consume your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will not cast you out of his sight. He will not cast your, your household out of his uh, sight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will not take his name and his presence away from us in the name of Jesus Christ I want you to pray this morning Lord do not take your name and your presence away from my household Lord do not take your name and your presence away from my household Lord have mercy on me and my children in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray this morning that when the judgment of God comes on this earth, all oh, your house will be found serving the Lord. Your children will be found serving the Lord. You will be found serving the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord's eyes will not be removed from your household. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord's name and his presence will not be removed from your household. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your family will not be objects of ridicule. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your children will not become objects of ridicule among all the peoples. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your household will not become a heap of ruins. People will not snare at your household. Your children will not abandon the Lord their God. You will not abandon the Lord your God in these last days. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. But stand there for stand stand many things will come and tempt you to bow your head to bow to the to bow to the command of the enemy but God is saying it's only the remnants that will stand are you amongst those remnants that are going to stand in these last days are you going to be amongst those remnants I pray this morning that your household your household your children will be among the remnants that will stand even in these last days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you will not abandon the Lord your God. Your children will not abandon the Lord their God who brought their fathers out of the land of Egypt. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your children, you will not choose other gods. No one in your household will choose other gods and worship and serve them. This is the reason why the children of Israel was brought into adversity. Oh, Robo Baba. Father, we give you praise this morning. I believe God is sounding a warning. This is a warning voice to the body of Christ. The body of Christ, be very aware of the choices that you are making right now because God is saying, I am looking for a people that will be like David in the days of old with a heart of integrity. Oh, walking up 
uprightly and walking in the statutes of the Lord. Uh, oh, who will go for me, says the Lord? Uh, who will stand when the pressure is so much? Who is going to stand in these last days? Uh, God is looking for people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will be found standing. We will be found standing in Jesus' mighty name. We will not betray the word of God. We will not betray. We will not betray the God of Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be like Peter who denied Jesus three times. But he always told Jesus, I will die with you. He always told Jesus, I will be with you. Many of us say, I will be with you, Lord. Many of us say, yes, I will die with you, Lord. But when push comes to shove, oh, we bend our heads and we cop out. We cop out. We cop out. But God is saying, who's going to last and endure to the very end? Who's not going to compromise the word of God? Who's going to walk in his commandments and his statutes? Hallelujah. The father is looking for a people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to uh, uh, just encourage you with the things that uh, Solomon also did. All right. So now in chapter 10 of first Kings, you will see that Solomon's fame went all over the, the kingdoms. All right. So when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord. She came to test him with riddles. You see, when you are uh, uh, walking in the statutes of God, you will be tested. You will be tested by the world. The world will come and ask you to bow. Nebuchadnezzar will come and ask you to bow. If you don't bow, they will put you in the fire. If you do not bow, they will put you in the fire. But are you prepared to go into the fire? Are you prepared to die for this gospel? Are you really prepared? Are you prepared for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? Are you preparing your children for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? Or are we just going about our daily businesses as usual? Church is never going to be the same again. Worship is not going to be the same again. This world is not going to be the same again. Jesus is looking for a people with a heart of integrity. Oh, where his name and his presence will dwell forever. Jesus is looking for a people that will connect with him one-on-one. -on -one. It's not about a third party. It's about one-on-one, one-to-one -on -one, one -one relationship with Jesus. So that on that last day, he will say, yes, sir, enter into the rest of your God. Because indeed, I know you. You are my friend. Like Abraham was a friend of God. Oh, Rabbi Shakat Alababa. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we'll be friends of God in Jesus mighty name so the queen of Sheba came to Jerusalem and with a big entourage she came with camels carrying spices quantities of gold precious stones she came to Solomon and she spoke with him about everything that was on her mind to discover the extent of his wisdom she came to test his wisdom the wisdom that God has given us in our hearts will be tested by the enemy and Solomon answered all her questions without anything hidden. There was nothing hidden from the king which he did not explain to her. He explained to her everything. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all the wisdom of Solomon and the palace which he had built and the food on his table and the sitting of his servants, his court officials and, and all the people in attendance with, with him, she was very impressed. She was impressed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, she saw the attendance of his waiters and the attire, the attire of his cup bearers, the stairway which um, and went up to the temple of the Lord. She was breathless. She was in awe by the wonder of it all. And she said to the king, the report which I heard in my own land about your words and wisdom is true. I pray that the report that people hear about us will be true. The report that people hear about your children will be true. She didn't believe that report until she came to see it with her own eyes. She came to see it with her own eyes. When people come to see what what will they find? Will they find Jesus in our hearts or will they find another God? Hallelujah. She even said people did not even tell her all of all of all of those reports. They just told her half. But when she saw it with her own eyes, she was she was amazed. It exceeded the wisdom and prosperity and the report which she has heard and she blessed she blessed him. She said, how blessed and fortunate and happy are your men. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. How blessed are your servants. She blessed him. She said, blessed be the Lord your God who delighted in you to set you on the throne of Israel because the Lord loved Israel forever. He made you king to execute justice and righteousness. I pray in Jesus name that the Lord will raise your children up in integrity, in uprightness. The fame of their names will go far in Jesus name and will draw all men unto Jesus. Will draw all men unto the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And she blessed the king oh with many riches she blessed the king hallelujah hallelujah she gave the king 120 talents of gold and very great quantity of spices and precious stones this uh, and the bible says that never again did such an abundance of spices come into israel as that which the queen of sheba gave the king of solomon so this king of solomon was so highly blessed very very blessed indeed you know but i want to pray today in jesus mighty name when you look further in chapter 11 solomon turned away from the Lord. You know, I'm sorry about that. Uh, a phone call came through my recording. I'm sorry. And it cut it off. So, um, yeah. So, so God had warned Solomon before the Lord had warned him not to worship other gods. But when you read in chapter 11, he had already gone ahead and began to worship other gods through the women that he met. I'm going to pray for your children's spouses in Jesus name, that they will meet the right people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not marry foreigners, foreigners, idol worshipers. They will not marry people who are already worshiping other gods. You know, he, he, he defiantly loved many foreign women along with the daughter of Pharaoh, the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians and Hittite women from the very nations of whom the Lord said to the Israelites not to associate with them. I pray that your children will not associate with people that God does not want them to associate with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He had 700 wives, princesses, 300 concubines. This man, I mean, this is just one man. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that your children will not fall into the pit that Solomon fell into. In Jesus' mighty name, in, in the Bible says Solomon did evil, evil things in the sight of the Lord, and he did not follow the Lord fully. I pray that your children will follow the Lord fully as his father David had done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will follow the Lord fully as, his fa as, as the father, Solomon's father David had done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from the Lord. I pray that your children's hearts will not be turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God appeared to him twice. So this is Solomon. It's not like he didn't know the Lord. It's not like he hadn't seen the Lord before. It's not like he had no experience experience with God. Some of us have walked with God. We talk with God. We get revelations. We prophesy. We do things, you know, but yet somehow, some way falling into some kind of pit. I pray in Jesus name that the Lord will deliver all of us and have mercy on us that we will not fall into the same pit that follow Solomon fell into. It may not be 700 wives and concubines or 300 concub concubines. It may be other things that are distracting our hearts from the very presence of God. And God is not pleased. We pray that the Lord will be pleased with us and not be angry like he was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from the Lord. I pray that our children will not turn away from the Lord. Our hearts as parents will not be turned away from the Lord. Your household, their hearts will not be turned away from the Lord, uh, the Lord God of Israel. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you right now. Thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that we will not fall into the pit that the enemy has dug in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray over this new month of March in the name of Jesus Christ over your children's lives that this month will yield blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that the will of God will be done in your children's lives in Jesus mighty name that God himself will steer the course of their lives will order their steps will ordain their steps in Jesus name. I pray that none of them will lean on their own understanding but in all their ways they will acknowledge the Lord and he will direct their paths in Jesus name. Lord we give you praise this morning. I praise the Lord over your children's lives. I pray that they will be like Solomon in his wealth but they will not fall into the pits that Solomon fell into. In Jesus mighty name. I pray that they will serve the Lord fully with all their hearts, with all their might, with all their mind, with everything that they have in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray over you, I pray over your family praying parents that we will serve the Lord to the end. We will not compromise, we will not give in, we will not serve other gods in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not bow to the pressure of Nebuchadnezzar and worship him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will not worship other gods 
God. In Jesus' mighty name. Maze makala makashiki. I pray over your family in this new month. I release the blessings of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit over your families right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessings. I speak favor over you, over your family, over your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray the blood of Jesus on you, your family, your children. I pray for the protection of God over you, over your children, over your family, over your household right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no weapon fashioned against you and your family shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reba zanda raba gazegele bege zege. Lebra mazondo raba gazaga dalaba. Lebra mazanda raba gazege talaba. In this new month, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, you will bear fruit. Your children will bear fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will walk in the statutes and in the law of the Lord in Jesus' name. Maze 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 maze. Lebra mazanda raba gazege talaba. Lebra mazondo raba gazaga raba gazege talaba. I plead the blood of Jesus on your family right now, and I plead the blood of Jesus against every plan of the enemy, every counterattack of the enemy, every lie of the enemy, every machination of the enemy, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We pull it down. Anything that is not planted of the Lord in your home, we uproot it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name. You are worthy to be praised. There is no God like you. There is none that will be compared to you. You are the mighty one of Israel. You are Jehovah Shammah, the one who is forever present in our midst. Lord, we love you this morning. We bless your holy name. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for your presence and your name, Father, that is established in our homes forever. Your home is bearing the name and the presence of the Lord. Your children will bear the name and the presence of the Lord wherever they go. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we bless you this morning. We praise your holy name. We thank you, Father God, that praises will never cease from our households. Praises, praying parents, will never cease from your home, your children's lives. I pray over their education. I pray over them in this time of coronavirus that no evil shall befall your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, their minds will be clear. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, their minds will be filled with the goodness and the mercy of God, with the word of God, with the truth of God, with the presence and the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bind depression, oppression, loneliness in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will fill every void in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray against any challenges that you will run through every troop and you will scale every wall. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will impart his wisdom upon you and your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every decision you make will be from the Lord God of Israel. Every decision you make concerning your children will be from the Lord God of Israel. The wisdom of God will guide and lead you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the wisdom of God will guide your children and lead them in their universities, in their education, in their jobs, in their marriages, wherever your children are. The wisdom and the knowledge the understanding of God, the name of God, the presence of God will never depart from them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Father, we give you praise for your angels on assignment over the children's lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, praying parents be rest assured that as you continue to pray in humility of heart, in integrity of heart, and in uprightness before God, God answers prayers. God answers all our prayers and we thank him. We give him praise this morning. I thank him for your wonderful children, your beautiful children, your amazing children. You're more than a conqueror children. You're overcomer children. You're victorious children. <laughs> your children in the hands of God. Your children that are weapons of warfare in the hands of God. Your instruments of worship before God. These are your children. These beautiful souls that God has given you. Oh, their leaf will not wither. Their leaf will not wither in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are for signs and they are for wonders. Father, we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for these children that you have given unto our praying parents that yes, 
indeed, they will be for signs and they will do wonders for you for the glory of your holy name in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They will carry your name to the nations of this earth, our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will not bring your name to disrepute, to shame, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that they are a gift to every family where they've come from, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless you for their lives. We bless you for what you're doing right now in the lives of the children. Blessed be your holy name. We give them back to you this morning. Will you give them back to the Lord? Just hand them over. It's handover time. It's handover time. In the hospitals, that's what they do. When the nurses finish their night duty, they will hand over to the ones on the morning duty. Will you hand over to the Lord right now? Hand over your children. Just say to the Lord, Lord, I hand my children over to you. I hand my grandchildren over to you. Come and take control and take over. And let the peace of God rest on your heart right now. God is in control. And once you ask him to take over, he has taken over. And then you go ahead and do what you're doing. It is perfectly okay. God is in control. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, praying parents. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praying parents, the song that God has given me for you this morning is titled, You Have Turned My Morning into dancing. This is how we overcome by Hillsong.
good morning. I will see you online tonight and God continue to bless you in Jesus name. Good morning. It's Pastor Ladi. God bless you.